Okay. Um, all right. So before we start, Jose, before we continue, uh, a reminder, remember that you need to hand in your results in Recreo by June 12th. Okay. Oh, yeah. June 12th. So remember that uh, we are, so we are checking your development in Recreo. So try to do it, all right? Yeah, okay. Okay, and uh, okay, who's coming? Okay, so it's coming. Jorge and Jose is coming and Rebecca is coming. Okay, hey Rebecca, good morning. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing fine, thank you. Okay, Jorge, good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm right. surviving my day. <laughs> <laughs> You're surviving the day. Yeah, okay. All right, so today we are going to try to uh, work with how to give directions to someone, all right? So finding places. And, uh, you know, that kind of exercise is quite common. So, okay, before we continue, I would like to tell you, or you tell me if you know, what is the meaning, for example, of Mason's furniture? Rebecca, good morning, Rebecca. So tell me. Um, do you know what's the meaning of furniture? No, uh, really not. No? All right. Furniture is a place in which you can buy tables or chairs or beds or something like that. You know, it's uh, like, how do you say in Spanish? Un almacén. Mueblería. Um, no. Mueblería, exactly. Mm -hmm. So Mason's furniture is la mueblería de Mason, right? Okay. Jorge, what do you think is Happy Planet Internet Cafe? All right, that's quite obvious. But um, uh, it's a uh, coffee, coffee internet. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So Riviera shoes are a place in which you can buy shoes, right? Zapateria. And it says here, Richmond's Jeverly. Jeverly is joyería. Jeverly. It's a difficult to pronounce word, but um, Jeverly. How would you say that one, Jose? Jeverly. Uh, Jeverly. Jeverly, exactly. Okay, so Freeman, Freeman's department store. Okay, so department store. What do you think, uh, Jose, is a department store? Um, like, um, um, yeah, like a, um, like a mall, maybe? Like a mall? Uh, not exactly, no. Mm -mm. Okay. A department store is una tienda departamental, as they say, right? Mm -hmm. Tienda departamental. So, yeah, that is a department store, kind of. Okay. And Old Rex Drugstore, well, that's like a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. It's the same drugstore or pharmacy are the same. Edis Electronics. Electronics is a, a store like Steren or Radio Shack or something like that. Yeah. That's why, no. Uh, uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Um, uh, it says, uh, that's why, for example, electronics. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. It's a place in which you can buy like some kind of plugs or connectors or things like that. Electronic things, right? Flower shop means una floreria. Pacific Bank, that's quite obvious. It's a bank. Convenience store. Convenience store is, like we say in, in Spanish, una tienda de abarrotes. That's convenience store. Donde venden leche, arroz, galletas, mermeladas. Abarrotes en general. Mm -hmm. Chuck's Dinner is a restaurant, parking lot. Es un, un, ¿Cómo se llama? Un estacionamiento. Beach Cinema, that's quite obvious. It's a cine. Seaside Pizza, so it's not a pizza. Dino Supermarket. Okay, there is a little difference between a supermarket and a convenience store. A convenience store is a place in which you can buy, I mean, groceries, but in a, in a small scale. In a small scale, es como pequeñito, ¿no? Y ya supermarket, ya es un Chedragui, un Walmart. 
Algo así, por ejemplo. Como una tienda casera, ¿no? Por ejemplo, una tienda de abarrotes de chiquita. Uh -huh. A una barrotera, por ejemplo. Donde... Una barrotera, o una tienda ¿eh? chiquita. Y ya supermarket ya es, pues ya, donde, pues eso, un chedragui o algo así. Ok, who joined the session? Itzel is here. Hi, Itzel, how you doing? Hi, teacher, good morning. I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great, thank you. Ok, so, it says here, we have a conversation here between Sonny and Jack. Ok, so, we are going to do the following. Um, Rebecca, you're going to be Sonia. So, Rebecca, you're going to be Sonia. And okay. um, Jorge, you're going to be Jack. All right. So, when you're ready, you can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi Fi near here? Um. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, there, there one, there on main, uh, street cross from the big apartment store. Uh, it's right, it's right up this street. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, and there, uh, and are there any cash machines around here? Uh, yeah, there there are some ATMs. Okay, but you are missing yeah some ATMs over there outside the bank. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't see. <laughs> no? Okay, uh, I don't see the bank. Uh, just across the street. Okay. Oh yeah, I see them. Thanks. Right, exactly. Okay, thank you. And all right, so please, is there a cafe? Okay, what does that mean, Itzel? Is there this part right here? What's the meaning of that in Spanish? Mm, it's like a. Uh... Ahí? Ahí? No, no, ahí. Aquí? Oh. And no. Es preguntar si hay, ¿no? Exactly. Yeah, hay. So remember, if you want to say hay in singular, you need to say there is. So there is one person, there is a mall, there is a drugstore, there is a, there is a cinema. Hay. There is, es hay. And you must remember that most of the times you are going to encounter this phrase like this. There's. Right? So what goes after there's needs to be singular. So there's a, there's a, right? There's a cafe, there's, there's someone, hay alguien, there's someone, hay alguien. There's a, there's a house, hay una casa, right? So if you want to make questions with there is, then you have this. Is there a house near here? Hay una casa cerca de aquí? Is there a bank near here? Hay un banco cerca de aquí? Right? So, and if okay. you want to say it in plural, then you need to use there are. So, there are some ATMs at the corner. There are some people standing there. Hay algunas personas paradas ahí. So, there are, uh, there are many places that you can visit. So, there are needs to have a plural noun. Many places, for example. Right, so you cannot say something like there are play, there are there are plays. That's incorrect because you need to put the noun in the plural form. So there are places. Okay, so and if you want to make questions, is are there places? Are there are there places around here? Hay lugares aquí cerca. So there are does not have any kind of contraction. There is has a contraction, right? There is or there's, but there are, you need to write there are complete. All right, okay. And uh, I think that's, that's the important thing here. 
And then, okay, with the wife near here. Okay, remember, you always have two options. You can say near here, or if you don't like near here, you can use nearby. Nearby and near here are the same. So you can use them instinctively, instinctamente. No? So, all right. And then uh, there is one. So there is one, Ayuna. So remember, you're not going to hear in the real life, there is. You're not going to hear that. You're going to hear there's, there's one, there's someone. Hmm? Okay, it's right up. Okay, right up, the, right up the street. What do you think that means? Uh, it's a, no, it's a, no. Uh, Rebecca, what do you think? It's, ah, it's right up the street. What is that? Es como esta calle arriba. Uh-huh. Exactly. It's right up the street. It's justo arriba de esta calle. So, all right. Exactly. Um, and are there any? Okay. Are there any? Are there any? It's a common phrase for asking. Are there any kind of places around? I don't know. Are there, are there any kind of uh, banks near here? ¿Hay alguna clase? Are there any? Es decir, ¿hay alguna clase de... So most of the times, whenever you are using are there or is there, they use any. Is there any, is there any place in which I can uh, buy some things? Is there any, is there any? Es como si, ¿hay algún? ¿Hay algunos? That's, is there any, right? In cash machines, ATMs. Okay, so what is an ATM? Uh, Jose, what is an ATM? Um, I don't remember the specific uh, meaning, but it's uh, cajero automático. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. ATM, as long as I remember, is automatic machine. I can't remember the name, but ATM is like cajero. Yeah. It has, it has to do with automatic machine. I'm not sure what does the T mean, but whatever. So, so there are some ATMs over there. Okay, this expression over there, over there is justo ahí, over there. Uh -huh. Cuando ustedes les quieran decir a alguien, ah, mira, ahí, 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 over there, over there. Eso es over there. Uh -huh. Just across the street, justo cruzando, just across the street. So, for example, how, how would you say, Itzel, uh, hay un banco cruzando la calle? How would you say that? There is a bank just across the street. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a bank, or what is the other option? Over there. Over there, yeah, but I mean, there are, you always have two ways to say there is. One is like itself said, there is, but there is another one of saying that. What's the other way? Uh, Rebecca, do you know the other way of saying there is? Is there any, no? There any? Not exactly. Sorry. No. Okay. Rebecca, do you know? Mm, to say there is a bank. Uh -huh. Okay, you can say there is. You can say there is. Or what is the other option? There. Over there. Over there is justo ahí. Is theirs. Remember, there is. Okay. That's one way of saying it the complete way, but you're not gonna hear there is, you're gonna hear this one, there's. It's a contraction, no? Okay. Exactly, the contraction form. Mm -hmm. So there is a bank, there's someone, so you're gonna hear there's. All right, so having that in mind, uh, Rebecca, how would you say something like, uh, hay un cajero en esta calle, sobre esta calle? There's a bank, um in, in uh, i i don't know how to say like in, in esta ah, okay. in this yeah. in this street no exactly. on this street yeah mm -hmm. yeah on with on on this street okay on this street on this street okay so before we continue that that's a good question we need to check out first um 
some kind of phrases that you can you can use when you are trying to give directions to someone. So we're going to look at this. Just wait a minute. I think it was right here. No. Okay, this is okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it? It's uh, okay. No, adverbs. No. Instead of giving directions, uh, ah, yeah, this one. Okay, so those are some phrases you can use uh, whenever you want to give or ask for directions, right? So. Okay, the first one you can use, the first one is walk down on. Walk down on or go straight ahead. Go, both of them means camina sobre esta calle. So you need to walk down on Main Street. And walk down means, uh, let's say if you are in an upside position, in a high position, and then you need to go down. Digamos que están en una calle arriba, ¿no? Y el lugar que la persona está buscando está abajo. O sea, hay un, hay un desnivel. You can say, ah, uh, hey, you need to walk down on. Y después de on, va el nombre de la calle. So you need to walk down on, uh, on Main Street. You need to walk down on uh, Avenue Park, right? That's walk down on. And go, go straight ahead. Straight ahead means todo derecho. So you can use go. Remember go or walk so you can tell the people ah you need to go straight ahead or you need to walk straight ahead and walk straight ahead means caminar derecho so you need to go straight ahead on this street it's like como nosotros decimos topar con pared ajá es todo derecho hasta topar con pared es todo derecho es como ajá. la versión gringa no ajá sí to walk down on es como y ah, tienes que bajar toda esa calle no Bajar y go straight ahead, pues todo junto. O walk straight ahead. Ok, de los dos. Ok. And then you have phrases like, like turn back. So let's say that the person is trying to go in the opposite direction. So you, you would say, you need to turn back and go straight ahead on this street. Turn back means darse la vuelta. Necesitas darte la vuelta. So you need to turn back and go straight ahead on this street. Irte derecho en esta calle. Si así lo requiriera, ¿no? Or you need to say, you need to go back on this street. Necesitas darte la vuelta sobre esta calle. Or you need to turn around. Necesitas dar, turn around means darse la vuelta. So, or, so you could say something like, you're going in the opposite direction. Estás yendo en la dirección contraria. So you need to turn around. You need to go back or turn back and, you know, go straight ahead, okay? All right, then, and then you have turn, turn left or turn right or go left or go right. And on is como decir, ah, tienes que dar la vuelta a la derecha en. So you need to turn left on Main Street or you need to turn right on Maple Valley Street. Tienes que dar la vuelta, o a mano derecha decimos, ¿no? A mano derecha, mano izquierda. So you can use turn or go, and both of them uh, are correct, right? So, for example, okay, up to here. Uh, José, how would you say something like, uh, necesitas bajar en esta calle y dar vuelta a la derecha en, uh, la, avenida, en la avenida principal? Uh, you need to go uh, walk down this street and turn 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 around. Uh, no, dar vuelta a la derecha. Uh -huh. Ah, and uh, turn right on the main avenue. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. So, uh -huh. and uh, then we have. Okay, go past, go past the, and then some place. You need to go past the Walmart. You need to go past the Walmart, and the place you're looking for is going to be in front of uh, the bookstore, for example. Necesitas pasar el Walmart. 
you need to go past the Walmart and the place you are looking for is going to be in front of the bookstore. Y el lugar que estás buscando está enfrente de la, de la librería. Entonces, cuando quieren darle como un punto de referencia a alguien, decirle, ah, bueno, vas a pasar, vas a encontrar tu Walmart y lo vas a pasar derecho. Eso sería go past. Ok, a ver, teniendo eso en cuenta, ¿cómo dirías, Rebeca, algo como, imagínate que te encuentras a alguien y le dices, bueno, tienes que caminar derecho sobre esta calle, después girar a la izquierda en, en el, no sé, en la calle principal, vas a pasar el Walmart y vas a seguir todo derecho. Otra vez. Voy a intentar decir de todo. Si me falta algo, me dices y lo digo en inglés. Okay. Este, you, you are going, uh, uh, no, you go past, uh, past, ay, ya se me olvidó. Lo tenía en mi cabeza. <risa> go past, ok, caminar derecho. Primero tienes que decir, tienes que caminar derecho en esta calle. ¿Cómo le dices eso? Go straight, go, go straight. Ajá. Ahead. Algo así, ¿no? Era. Ajá. Straight ahead. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Go straight ahead. And then in the... Uh, and then turn around. In... No. Turn around. Si le dices eso, le dices eso, date la vuelta. O sea, ve derecho y le dices turn around es date la vuelta. Uh... Es que decirle, vete derecho y después das la vuelta. No dar la vuelta, sino das la vuelta a la derecha en... Or al... turn. Only turn is... Este, como, como ir, ¿no? Ajá, es que si dices turn around, es como dar, así, la darse la vuelta en 180 grados. Entonces, turn around. Ah, ok. Go, go left on main, on main street. Ajá. And then you, you gonna, you gonna see Walmart. Ok. Bueno, ahí ya le dijiste, ok, camina derecho. Luego Ajá. dijiste turn left. Ajá. Okay. Por cierto, ¿qué es left and right? Left is izquierda, right is derecha. <laughs> okay. I sometimes lost myself with left and right. But... Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah. Follow yeah. the little. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Okay, entonces hasta ya le dijiste, vete derecho y luego da la vuelta a la derecha. Ahora, ¿cómo le dirías? Ya estando en ese punto, camina derecho y pasa el Walmart. When you when you when you are in the main street, uh, pass uh, pasa uh, pasa. No, I I don't know how to say como como pasa de largo como el Walmart. Yo no, no sé cómo decir. Like this one. Go past the Go Walmart. Pass. Uh -huh. Okay, go past the Walmart and you, you, you be in, in, yo, no, no, ya me perdí horrible, me estoy trabajando mucho. Ok, ahora la vamos a ver, ahí dijiste, pues ya dijiste, pasa al Walmart, da la vuelta entonces a la derecha en Main Street, so turn, uh, turn right on Main Street and go past the Walmart, y pasa al Walmart, ¿no? ¿Sí? Entonces, ok, ahora vamos a ver. Vayan, si quieren, tomándole, no sé, fotos o anótenlo. Ok, a ver, entonces, una vez, o sea, esas son las frases, estas de acá, ay, estas de acá son las frases que ustedes van a ocupar para guiar a la persona. Bueno, pues tienes que irte todo derecho, tienes que bajar, ¿no? Eh, después tienes que dar la vuelta, o, o si tuvieras que decir, darte la vuelta en 180 grados, tienes que darte la vuelta en 180 grados, es esto. Turn back, go back, turn around. Sí, y esto es suponiendo que la persona vaya en, 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 en una dirección opuesta hacia donde quiere ir. Entonces, go left or go right es da la vuelta a la izquierda, da la vuelta a la derecha. Y, o y pasa él, go past the Walmart, go past the Oxxo, pasas el Oxxo. Es eso, o sea, go past the es decir en español pasas. Ah, después pasas el Oxxo, pasas el Walmart. So you need to go past the Oxxo, you need to go past the Walmart. Pasas el Oxxo, el Walmart, y el lugar que estás buscando, and the place you are looking for, 
Ahora, una vez que ya le dieron las direcciones, tienen que orientarlo, ¿no? Es decir, once the person has arrived to the place, o sea, una vez que ya el, el sujeto o quien sea que les preguntó, ya le dieron las direcciones y ya está cerca del lugar donde quiere llegar, entonces le puedes decir algo como, it's going to be, it's on your right. So you have, you have this phrase, something like the place, the place you are, the place you're looking for, Uh, it's going to be on your right. Va a estar, el lugar que estás buscando va a estar a tu derecha. O bueno, the place you're looking for, o lo puedes simplificar. De, digamos que la persona les preguntó por el Walmart. Es de Walmart, the Walmart, ya no le quitan el lead. The Walmart, the Walmart is going, is going to be on your left. Or on your right. Ah, pues el Walmart va a estar a tu izquierda. O el Walmart va a estar a tu derecha. Pues eso sería cuando la persona ya llegó. Ya está cerca del sitio. Ya le dicen, ok, the Walmart is going to be on your left. Uh, the cafeteria is going to be on your right. Va a estar a tu derecha o a tu izquierda. Ok. And ok, behind. Or the Walmart is going to be behind. Uh, the Oxxo. So the Walmart is going to be behind the Oxxo. So, ah, bueno, el Walmart va a estar detrás del Oxxo. Or the Walmart is going to be next to, next to the Oxxo. Ah, bueno, el Walmart va a estar junto al Oxxo. Next to the Oxxo. Son preposiciones de lugar. In front of. También pueden decir eso, ¿no? The Walmart is going to be in front of the Oxxo. Ah, bueno, el Walmart va a estar enfrente del Oxxo. Or in front of, or across the Oxxo. So the Walmart is going to be across the Oxxo. Es decir, cruzando el Oxxo, o enfrente del Oxxo. Son la misma cosa, ¿no? Se dicen cruzando el Oxxo, o enfrente del Oxxo. Pues es lo mismo. ¿Vale? Ok, and then, more phrases. Or, ok, so, you have more phrases. Like, take the second o the first turning. Uh -huh. Esta frase sirve cuando, digamos que son, una, son muchas cuadras, ¿no? Como este. Imagínense que están aquí, están aquí, ¿no? Y la persona, no sé, tiene que llegar hasta acá, digamos. Entonces, si están aquí, por ejemplo, dirías, ok, so you need to take first second. Ok, you need to take the second turning on your right. So you need to take the second turning on your right. Es, es pasando la segunda calle. Estás contando las cuadras. Mm -hmm. Or you can say take the second or first or third turning. Puedes ocupar la palabra turning or block. Que block es cuadra. Entonces take the second block on your right. Es como la segunda cuadra. Pasas dos cuadras. Y después giras hacia la derecha o a la izquierda. Eso es cuando hay muchas calles, digamos, este, no paralelas, perpendiculares. O sea, estas. Ok. Entonces, bueno, si tuviera que tomar una rotonda, si tuviera que tomar una rotonda o una, pues esto, ¿no? Ven que hay rotondas. Entonces, allí, allí tienen que contar, digamos, si la persona viene de este sitio, de aquí, eh, digamos que la primera salida sería esta. Esa sería la primera salida. La segunda salida sería esta. Y la tercera salida sería esta. Es decir, la primera salida se empieza a contar hacia la derecha. Bueno, a menos que esté en el Reino Unido, claro. Si está en el Reino Unido es al revés. Pero si no está en el Reino Unido o en cualquier lugar donde manejen a la derecha, no, a la izquierda, perdón. Nosotros manejamos a la izquierda, ¿no? Entonces, como nosotros manejamos a la izquierda y también en Estados Unidos o en cualquier otro país, a menos creo que es Australia, ¿y uh, dónde manejan a la, al otro lado? En, en Reino Unido. ¿no? Hoy en Japón también, creo. 
Entonces, en esos sitios es al revés, pero si no están en esos sitios es first, second, third. So, you need to go round the roundabout. Roundabout es esto, es como glorieta. Entonces, you need to go round the roundabout and take the first exit, the second exit, or the third exit. Si lo necesitaran, ¿no? Si va a haber una glorieta donde van. Ah, bueno, tienes que agarrar la glorieta y tomar la primera salida. Sería para acá. Or the second, sería de esta, esta. O the third, esta. Ok. And I think that's it. That's all you need to know about uh, how to give a direction to someone. How do you pronounce the, uh, the word round, roundabout? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, roundabout. Ok. All right, so, uh, okay. so let's go back here. Okay, so it says here, look at the map. So what can you do at each place? You see, tell the class. Work, okay, so uh, Isaac, what can you do at a Pacific bank? Hi, Isaac, good morning, by the way. Hi, everyone. Uh, yes, it's your Pacific Bank. I think, uh, I don't know, uh, I am uh, the guys, <laughs> the red and green. All right, but what can you do in a bank? That's the question. What can you do? Uh, maybe a transaction or the different uh, activities, uh, reference a money or uh, invoice or different activity with the money and este, I think is uh, financial uh, activities. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And Jorge, what can you do at a beach cinema? What can you do in there? Uh, I watch the, uh, the movie. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I need the, um, uh, Pop. Okay. I need pop. Popcorns. Popcorns are nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Exactly. Okay. Rebecca, what can you do at a Eddie's at, a, at, an, at an electronic store? What? What can you do at an electronic store? What can I do uh -huh. in, in the electronic? Buy stuff like. TVs or this is a question. Uh -huh, that's a question, yeah. What can you do okay. in that place? Uh, like, see, I don't know. Uh, if I like to to buy some um, TV or Alexa or something like that, we can we can go um, buy there. All right, exactly. Okay, and it's also video games. <laughs> <laughs> you can also buy video games. Of course, or plugs, connectores, no? That's a plug. Okay. And uh, it said, what can you do at a Jeverly? At a Jeverly? What can you do in that place? What can you do in that place? Um, buy, I don't know, like a Kiara or some. Yeah. I don't know if this, like, uh, I don't know how to just say aretes or, yes, in general, is gels. Jew jewels. Jewels es jewels. Como, uh -huh, como joyas. Eso es jewels. Los jewels can, can include earrings, right? Aretes, necklace. A necklace es como un collar, ¿no? Necklace, no. earrings. What is what? Watches too, no? Watches, exactly. Yeah. Watches, uh -huh. earrings, leg lace. Esa clase de cosas, no? Joyería. Jewelry means joyería. In jewels, son joyas. Jewels, joyas, and jewelry, joyería. Okay. All right, exactly. Okay. All right. That's quite, quite easy, I guess. And okay, I'm going to close the session. Don't go away, please. So, ahorita venimos. Okay. Entonces acá. 
Está, yo quiero llegar aquí, mira, a Happy Planet Café. Aquí. Ok. Y estamos acá, aquí está la personita abajo. Entonces, ¿cómo uh, le dirías? Yo. Go straight ahead. The block. Ok, go straight ahead, pero ¿en qué calle? Go straight ahead. Uh... No es primero el de Black, ¿no? Para que camine todo derecho en la última calle. Ok, Ajá. esta calle se llama Main Street. Entonces, ok, you need to say, you need to walk straight ahead on, on ah, Main Street. Yeah, sorry, I, I understand. Uh, you, you go uh, straight ahead in the Main Street. Okay. Ahora, ok, ya que lo ubicaste ahí, ¿cómo lo ubicas? El lugar que estás buscando va a estar enfrente de. In the place I'm looking for, uh, the front of the uh, French man. The permit? Permit. Okay, department. Okay, pero como es enfrente, enfrente del, de la tienda departamental. Front of, no? Front of uh, department. Exactly, in front of the Freeman's department. So the place you're looking for is going to be in front of the Freeman's department. Yeah. Or across. También, recuerda que pueden decir across the street, ajá, across, across the street. The street. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, bueno, también allí podrían decir you need to go past, you need to go past the Jeverly and the Riviera Shoes. También le podrían decir eso. So you need to walk straight ahead on Main Street. And then go past the Jeverly, go past the Riviera Shoes, and the place you are looking for is going to be in front of the Freeman Department Store. O sea, bueno, tienes que pasar la joyería, tienes que pasar la zapatería, y el lugar que estás buscando va a estar enfrente. Ok, all right. Ok. Um, uh -huh. Bueno. Is anybody missing? I can't remember. No, I think we are all have our turn. Okay, so it says here, Liz and Sonny is asking for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Okay, we're going to listen to the conversation and we're going to find out what is she trying to, what is she trying to find? So here we go. Page 54, unit six, around town. Lesson A, finding places. One, getting started. B. Listen. Sonia is asking Jack for help. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street. Thanks. Oh, And are there any cash machines around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to listen again. Page 54. Listen. What is she looking for? Practice the conversation. Excuse me, please. Is there a cafe with free Wi-Fi near here? Uh, there's one on Main Street, across from the big department store. It's right up this street. Thanks. Oh, and are there any cash machines around here? Yeah, there are some ATMs over there, outside the bank, just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see them. Thanks. Okay. So, it says here, Rebecca, so what is she looking for in the first place? She's looking at uh, the main street. No, the cafe, sorry, a cafe with free Wi-Fi. Exactly, okay, all right. And Isaac, what is the second place she's looking for? Yes, teacher. Uh, maybe the cash machine because uh, he said that uh, only 
need cross the street and I can uh, see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, ahí le dice el sujeto, ah, it's across the street, over there. O sea, si el lugar está a la vista, o sea, si, si pueden ver el sitio desde donde sea que estén parados, apuntan con su dedo y dicen, ah, it's over there. Ah, está justo ahí, ¿no? It's over there, across the street. Justo ahí, este, cruzando la calle. Entonces, uh, ajá, y le dicen, bueno, there's one on Main Street. También, sí, ah, bueno, ¿dónde hay un, les preguntan, hay un banco por aquí? Ah, ya, yeah, there's one on this street. Si fuera, si estuviera un banco en la calle donde les preguntan, en esa misma calle, ah, ya, yeah, there's one on this street. Hay una en esta calle. También otra frase que les puede servir mucho para orientarse es at the end of. Si digamos, oye, hay un banco por aquí. Ah, ya, yeah, there's one at the end of the street. At the end of the street es como al final de la calle. Donde sea que termine la calle, ¿no? At the end of the street. At the También podrían decir, at the corner of this street. Es como a la, a la, en la esquina de esta calle. At the corner of this street. Or también, ah, bueno, you know, at the traffic lights. También esas otras frases. Si, ah, bueno, hay una en el, en el semáforo en esta calle. So there's one at the traffic lights. On this street. Hay una en el semáforo de sobre esta calle. Traffic lights, pues ese es su semáforo. At the end of the street, pues al final de la calle. Ok. Bueno. También pueden tener esas frases ahí. Ok. So, so, can you complete these questions and answers? Practice with a partner. Ok. All right. So, how would you, Isaac, how would you complete number one? Letter A in number one. Okay, Isaac, you're going to do letter A. Letter A. Huh. Letter A and uh, Jorge, you are going to complete letter B in number one. So, have a time. If you're okay. ready. Okay, are you ready, Isaac? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can go ahead. Maybe the phrase A is, do you know a uh, Fortnite store near here? Mm, do you know? All right. Yeah, but try if you, si quieres preguntar, ¿hay? ¿Cómo dirías? ¿Hay una, una tienda de muebles por aquí? ¿Una mueblería? Um, maybe is there, there is. Okay, there is or is there? Is there? Mm -hmm. Right. So, how would you make the question? Uh, there is there. Mm -hmm. it, it, maybe is there a Fortnite store near here? Okay. So, how would you say forni furniture? Furniture. Furniture. Sure. 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 Uh -huh. Todas las furniture. palabras. Andale, sure. Todas, en absoluto, todas las que terminen en ture, como future, uh -huh, o furniture, uh, structure, estructura, ¿no? Dicen estructura, structure, futuro, future. Eso de furniture. Todas los que tienen en ture tienen sure. So, how would you say that again, Isaac? Okay, teacher. Is there a furniture a store a near here? Exactly. All right, perfect. Jorge, how would you answer to that? Uh, I think that, yeah, there's... Um, there are a turn of the beach street? No. Mm, bueno, ¿cómo dirías? Sí, hay una. Hay una sobre beach street. ¿Cómo dirías hay una? Yeah, I, um, um, I don't remember that. <laughs> no? Okay, Rebecca, do you remember? How would you say, hay una? Hay una? There, there is? There, no. There's... 
one. There's one. No. Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. One. There's one on a beach. Exactly. There's one on Beach Street. It's como, ahí lo que dijiste es hay una. Ah, yeah. There's one. Okay. There's one on Beach Street. Okay. Hay una sobre. Aquí lo que dijeron esta frase es hay una sobre la calle Beach. Okay. A ver. Entonces. And in this in this case, maybe we use uh, yes. There is a furniture store on Beach Street, right? Mm -hmm. También puedes hacer eso. Yeah. There is there is. ¿Qué dijiste? ¿Me puedes repetirlo? <laughs> no. It's a furni furniture. Ah, bueno, no, 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 no. Porque ya lo repitieron. Si alguien ya te pregunta, okay, is there a furniture uh -huh. store? Ya no vuelves a repetir furniture store. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Porque ya lo dijo eso, ya lo dijo la persona. The one sirve precisamente para eso, para ya no tener que repetir lo que te dijeron. Entonces, por okay. ejemplo, si alguien te pregunta, is there an oxo near here? No dirías, ah, yes, there is an oxo. No volverías a repetir oxo. The word, okay, okay. Uh -huh. so one. Yes, there's one. Okay. Um, so, itself, how would you complete no letter A in number two? Um, I don't know, it's singular or plural, but are there any ATMs around here? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Are there? So, are there? Sí, sí, es, es, tienes que decir are there porque ATMs es plural. ¿no? Yeah. So, are there any ATMs around here? Ok, muy bien. So, José, how would you answer in letter B? Um, yes, there are uh, many cash machines just across the street. Ok. Mm -hmm. There are many Or cash some. machines. Yeah. Some también, exactamente. Si dices some, what are you saying if you say some? Uh, algunas. Algunas. So there are some cash machines. Or, y si dices many, ¿qué estás diciendo? Uh, que hay muchas. Hay muchas. Uh -huh. Entonces igual, some esté un poco mejor, ¿no? Ah, there are some cash machines across the street. Exactly. Ok, all right, perfect. So, ok. Aquí. All right, next on first street, on the corner of. Ah, ok, aquí están más frases de las que ya habíamos visto hace rato. Bueno, esto es gramática. Are there or is there? It's quite simple. Remember, is there, is there a, hay un. Entonces, lo que viene después, fíjense cómo, a ver, déjenme ampliarlo aquí. Como siempre lo que viene después de is there, tiene que ser singular. Café es singular. There is one. Entonces, si ya les preguntaron, recuerden, is there a café with free white pie? Ah, oh, yes, there is. Eso de yes, there is, acuérdense que es la respuesta corta. Ah, sí, sí hay. There is one. No dirían aquí, there is, there is a... Café with free, no volver a repetir eso, sino, ah, there's one on Main Street. Sí, hay una. O si van a decir, no, no hay. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't one in this neighborhood. No hay ninguno. There isn't one. There isn't one es lo equivalente a decir, no hay ninguno en este vecindario. Neighborhood, pues es vecindario. Entonces, de nuevo, después de there is o there isn't, no puede ir plurales. Tienen que ir singulares siempre. Are there any? Hay algunas, este, algunos cajeros por aquí. Yes, there are. Esa es la respuesta corta. Yes, there are. Sí, sí hay. There are some, como dijo este José. There are some outside the bank. Hay algunos. Hay algunos fuera del banco. O oh, no, there aren't. No hay ningunos. Eso también es muy importante. No, there aren't. There aren't any. There aren't any. No hay ningunos. No hay ninguno cerca. Entonces, recuerden, no pongan there are in nothing o there aren't uh, uh, no one, nada por el estilo. So, there aren't any, lo pueden tratar así directamente, no hay ninguno. There are some, ah, hay, hay algunos. Eh, uh -huh. También pueden decir acá, como pueden decir there aren't any, también pueden decir, ah, there isn't any. No hay, no hay ninguno. 
there isn't any. Me pueden decir eso. En singular. Entonces, este... Ok. All right. Mm -hmm. Bueno. So look at the map and page 44 and complete the questions with is there or are there any. Complete the answers with one, some, any, and location expression location expressions, then practice. Okay, location expressions son las que vimos hace rato, behind, detrás de, in front of, in front of the, next to, junto, between, between, pues es en medio, inside, dentro de, outside, fuera de, on first street, on first street, es esto, acuérdense, ocupan la proposición on, on main street, on, on first street, on this street, on Maple Valley Street, on Maple Valley Avenue, sobre, ese de on es pues sobre, ¿no? O lo que vimos, on the corner of main, main and first. Ah, bueno, es otra frase. Uh -huh. Que bueno, yo me equivoqué, no es, at, que yo supiera es at the corner, no sé por qué es on. Pero igual creo que sí dice at the corner of Main Street, sobre la, bueno, sobre la esquina de, Sí, también puede ser on the corner of main and first. En la esquina de main y first. Across the street. Sí, de acuerdo, across the street es enfrente, ¿no? Ya, yeah, es across the street, justo enfrente. Entonces, a ver, vamos a ver aquí. Uh, it's... It's what? The daily. Do you see Sam's daily? Okay. A ver, pero es que tenemos que estar viendo. Vamos a dejar esto de tarea, ¿sale? Porque si no, te, tienes, que, tienes que estar regresando. Tenemos que estar regresando a ver esto a cada rato. Ok, entonces, vamos a dejar eso de tarea. La de, bueno, la actividad número, la actividad A en la página 55. ¿Vale? Vamos a dejar eso de tarea para que les dé tiempo de, pues, de estar revisando el mapa otra vez. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, um, bueno, vamos a dejar eso, vamos a dejar eso este, de tarea. Okay. Sí, háganlo, lo vamos a revisar el lunes, entonces sí, háganlo, sí, háganlo. Y bueno, un recordatorio, por cierto, ahorita que están todos o casi todos, ya le dije a Jorge, tienen hasta el 12 de, 12 de junio, me parece, 12 de junio para, no, no me parece, a ver, déjenme, déjenme checar con exactitud. Uh, 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 uh. Tienen hasta el, sí, hasta el 12 de junio <coughs> para contestar sus actividades de recreo. Recuerden que todo eso está siendo monitoreado, no, ni siquiera por mí, sino por, bueno, por la institución, ¿no? De que ahí van viendo su progreso. Es decir, quien no lo vaya haciendo, ahí se van a dar cuenta, ¿no? Porque van, van registrando su porcentaje. Si llevan, no sé, el 20, si llevan 0%, pues ahí va a decir 0%. Si llevan 75% completado, pues ahí va a decir 75% completado. Y acuérdense que esos resultados, esos resultados cuentan, ¿no? Al final. Entonces, <coughs> continúen haciendo esa parte. ¿Vale? Eh, um, bueno, bueno. ¿Qué dice aquí? Dice, don't use is there with plural nouns. Ok, ya dijimos eso, ¿no? No pueden decir is there o there is usando plurales. No pueden decir there is houses. Para eso tiene que decir are there. Entonces, bueno, ya hemos, ya hemos dicho esto. So, word stress. También ya hemos hablado del word stress. ¿Sale? Acuérdense que siempre hay una sílaba que suena más. Siempre. Siempre va a haber una que suene más. Entonces, tienen que hacer esa entonación. Bookstore. Restroom. Drugstore. No es que digan bookstore. Rest. No es que alcen la voz como tal, sino que alarguen la, las, el sonido vocálico ahí. Entonces, like, ah, yes, there is a bookstore, there is a restroom, there is a drugstore. Simplemente alargue no te atiendo. ¿Sale? Entonces, bueno, vamos a dejar todas esas actividades de tarea porque nos va a dar tiempo. También hagan la B, ¿sale? Actividad A y B. Y, bueno, entonces lo veríamos la siguiente clase. Eh, recuerden, si tienen dudas de cualquier tema, ni siquiera de esto, ¿sale? Vamos también a dedicar, digamos, los últimos cinco minutos para dudas. Oiga, maestro, me encontré esto cuando estaba leyendo algo, o me encontré esta expresión cuando estaba leyendo tal cosa, ¿sale? O en general, preguntas del inglés que tengan en general, ¿sale? 
no necesariamente con este tema, sino en general, pueden, pueden preguntarme, ¿sale? Bueno, ¿hay alguna duda con esto? No, teacher. No, teacher. Bueno, ok, so, see you on Tuesday, take care, bye. See you, take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye.